On this episode of The Digital Roast. Viewers retain 95% of a message via video than they would when they're reading a text. And just a tool for marketers, we no. should be within our businesses thinking about maybe training or mm. other aspects of the business where we might want to record a process or something like that. I mean, Absolutely. that sort of thing. Yep. 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 One of the things that I guess might be a little bit controversial, controversial but I mean, are these, are these all these apps and tools, are they actually making us more efficient or are they just... Yeah. Because we have to learn another tool and it's another thing. Yeah. Is it just more time or is yeah. it, are we actually saving time? Hi, this is the Digital Roast, episode three, I think we are now. And I'm Brennan McDermott, Chief Executive, Focus Technology Group. And we're going to continue the theme of productivity today. Uh, and we're going to dive a little bit deeper into some of the products within the Microsoft 365 suite. Um, tools that you've probably already got, but not aware that you've got. And uh, welcome back to the roast, Sam. Thank you. Now, guess what I didn't do last time is actually properly introduce you and your role. So you're a business software consultant at I Focus? Am. Yes. Yep. Tell us a bit, yeah. bit more about your background. <laughs> Um, well, I consult mostly around the Microsoft suite, so SharePoint, Teams, and all of those other little 365 apps that you probably don't know you've got, um, and along with the co-pilot stuff that we mentioned last last session. Nice, and you've got your, if I remember rightly, it's flat white? Yes, I do. Yep, yep. roast of Thank choice. And, and again, just a dash of cream in the uh, long, long black, so I'm ready to go as well. I guess... Just starting with Microsoft 365, and I think in the first episode we talked about, you know, from a focus perspective, but also from a, even a New Zealand perspective, a lot of us, or a lot of businesses are using Microsoft 365. Yeah. Uh, and whether they've got standard licensing or premium licensing, you know, we know the tools within there, the likes of Outlook and Excel and Word, but there's a lot more to offer within there, isn't there? There is so much more. Lots of little apps that can help you in many different ways. Um, some of the things that we could do, there's a bookings app that can help you save time making appointments. There's a planner app that can help you plan out your tasks and assign them to different people. So I've seen the, the booking app, for example, on the bottom of your email. So yep. bottom of your email, you send an email out to someone and then all of a sudden there's a, a, a link you can click on and book a time that checks your calendar, I guess. Exactly, without yeah. giving out any details of what's in my calendar. So big time saver. You're not calling the person and like, is it this time okay? Or you're doing the email tag, like, does this work? No, it doesn't work. Okay, how about this time? No, that's not good either. We can spend a lot of time trying to do something like that, whereas you could also just have a link, you click, you choose what works for you, and you're done. So lots of little productivity tools within the 365 suite. So we've got, yeah. as I said, we've got Word, we've got Excel, and the, these the, all these other tools. You know, I've heard of Loop, Sway, Planner, uh, the booking tool that you just talked about. But um, if we're thinking about business these days, and particularly if we want to dive a bit deeper into what businesses are doing to market themselves or show themselves off to both their clients or to prospective clients, um, we know video is huge. I mean, I know video is huge at home because, you know, the kids are constantly, Yeah, it's video, video, video. I mean, yes. I think there's a stat that says 92% you know, uh, of of consuming uh, on the internet is, is video. Uh, yes. is, there, is there one of these tools that we can use within Microsoft to help us in that? There is, absolutely. So ClipChamp is one of the newest tools to the 365 suite, and it can help you with video editing and things. Probably not aware you've got it. Um, so video, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> video is absolutely important. Viewers retain ninety five percent of a message via video than they would when they're reading mm -hmm. a text. Um, so, and I think there's an average of seventeen hours of video consumed by a person every week. So wow. there's so much happening via video. I mean, back in the day, advertising like the gold standard of advertising was an advert on TV. That nobody could do that. That's horribly expensive to do something like that. But now it is the it is it can be so easy to do it. I mean, you can you've probably done it yourself, posting a wee video on social media, um, and 
that gets so many more views and so much more engagement than just a status update. Yeah. So. So I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, things have evolved, haven't they? They've evolved from just putting a post of words to then yes. a, a photo, a static photo, and, yes. and now we're in this in this video era um, yeah. where it's, you know, we, we've all got mobile phones and we've got ways of, of taking that video. I guess, yeah, how do we pull some really neat video together and without having mm-hmm. to... Uh, give it to the experts or our marketing team to do that. Yes, yeah. So something like Clip, ClipChamp can do yes, that? Yes, yeah, absolutely. So ClipChamp's a tool that allows you to record yourself. It allows you to record your screen. Um, it will record audio and video, and you can then edit that content how you want. It pulls it all together in a really easy to, to use tool. Um, so you can then cut chunks out of the video. You can add music to the background if you like um you can put on little stickers like you could have subtitles and it would automatically generate those captions as you like and you can add other words on top if you wanted to um so much flexibility as to how you can create a video and it's so user friendly as well um i'm sure people who have delved into video editing before would have looked at tools or are possibly using tools like CapCut or Final Cut Pro, um, which are great and they do exactly what you need them to do. But for those other users who aren't quite so video savvy, this is a great way, a great intro into how to manipulate video for your purposes. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm probably a little bit naive. You know, I've got an awesome marketing person who pops yep. these great <laughs> videos together and hopefully makes me good look okay on these podcasts. Yes. Uh, not sure what tools they're using. Um, yeah. Maybe we should be using yes. ClipChamp. Yeah. Well, in fact, the intros and the teasers to this video were created by oh. ClipChamp as well. So you've already seen some results of it. Um, and something that I use it in my role for is creating training videos because uh, that's a big part of my role is to educate other users on on how all the systems work. Uh, so I would quite frequently record my screen, record my mouse before my actions, record my voice explaining what I'm doing. Then if I got interrupted halfway through that, typically it'd be like, oh, now I have to start again. But with ClipChamp, I can just cut that bit out where I got interrupted and keep going and, and create that flow through there. I can have it generate those subtitles so that there's the text as well. If they're not wanting to listen to my voice, I know I don't like listening to my voice, so they can mute and just read. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and it's been so much easier just because people retain that information when it's a video format so much more than they do in text format. And that's just how some users prefer to learn. So I guess a little bit thinking back to our conversation around AI and just getting started and thinking about actually how can we use it within our business. Mm -hmm. So this isn't just a tool for marketers. We should be within our businesses thinking about maybe training or Mm -hmm. other aspects of the business where we might want to record a process or something like that. I mean, that sort of thing. Yep. Yep, absolutely. So anything like that can be recorded, developed as you need it and used in whichever way fits your business. And that gets all, I guess, saved within your Microsoft suite and can be accessed through SharePoint or whatever else. Absolutely. And that's a free tool as part of your Microsoft licensing. Um, It works in a similar way to Canva, how you've got access to a bunch of stock footage, stock music and things as well that you can use in your your videos. Um, And if you then sign up to the premium version, you get to expand on that library as well, just like you would in Canva. So there are, again, different tiers of licensing, but you can do so much with just the free version as well. And it's something you've already got. You're already paying for it. You're possibly even paying for another tool as well. Mm -hmm. So there could be some money savings there as well as time savings and just opening up the world of possibilities in video. A little bit like at home where you've got, Netflix subscription and then your, your yes. Sky subscription and whatever yes. else. So you yep. end up with all these subscriptions when yep. actually maybe all you need is the, the one that you're paying for. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So I guess one of the things that I guess might be a little bit controversial, controversial but I mean, are these, are these all these apps and tools, are they actually making us more efficient or are they just – yeah, because we have to learn another tool, and it's another thing. Yeah, is it just more time, or is yeah. it, are we actually saving time? 
It can be. Um, so you've got, so long as they're implemented well, then yes, you're going to save time. You need to go through some training programs so that you know that all of your staff are using these tools appropriately. You can't just leave someone to, some Some people will figure it out and be away, but others, they need a bit more training. They need a bit more take your hold hand holding throughout the processes. If you can do that with your staff so everyone knows that these tools are there, they can start thinking about how these tools can help their particular roles. Um, and then it's just a matter of ensuring that they've got the knowledge and the help needed to implement those tools appropriately. So again, thinking, I guess, as a business owner or a business leader, that planning phase is so important when it comes to any of these things, not just dropping another another tool exactly. or another app yes. or a, yep. something else into the mix. It's actually about how do we have a bit of a roadmap around what this looks like. Yes, exactly, and plan them out and plan who will need what tool, how they're going to be implemented, how they're going to connect to your other tools. Um, but the first step is just awareness because there's so many people who don't realise they've got access to these tools and are paying for other tools as well. Video tends to have... Uh, a lot, quite a lot when it comes to uh, the size of the files and that sort of thing and, and storage. Is that, is that an issue given it's with within Microsoft? Are we, yep. we going to have to pay for extra storage or is that if we're creating all these videos? What does yep. that look like? Well, um, your typical SharePoint environment has a whole terabyte worth of storage available to that. And every user would have a OneDrive that is also, I think it's 10 gigabytes, might even be a terabyte per user as well. There is plenty of storage within that 365 environment, um, and it would just depend on what other what other things are sitting in there. Most companies, the majority of companies, will not have any problems with storage of this con kind of content either. Awesome. So going back a, a step, you know, ClipChamp, really cool tool for doing video editing and, yeah. uh, and video creation, I guess. Going back to a step around, how do we find out what is available? You know, you've, you've yep. as I said, you've got Microsoft Premium or Standard, whatever the licensing is, but yes. how do I find out about those other things that are available and then we can make some decisions on yeah. what we want to use? Well, if you click up on the top uh, right of any Microsoft 365 screen you're in, you'll see the little, there's nine squares up there. Probably never even noticed them in the past. If you click on them, it'll expand out and you'll see all of the different apps that you've got available. Have us an explore. Is it going to freak me out? Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, have a wee explore and that's just what you've got available to you. You'll probably see them and go, what the heck is a loop? What is that going to do for me? Um, and that's where you can kind of come to us and we can help explain those things and develop the, um, and demonstrate how they work for you and what is, what is possible with them. So I'm thinking now I've got, I've got ClipChamp, uh, I've got my TikTok account, and I'm not going to share what that is because I have created a few videos, they're pretty <laughs> awful, but um, so I can be doing better, uh, more professional looking um, videos on my TikTok, TikTok account now. You can, yep. Easily add backing music and cut out the bits where you messed up your words and all sorts of things. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what uh, anyone wants to see, to be fair, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's really awesome. I mean, I mean, again, I guess in, in summary that, you know, there is all these productivity tools available. Yes. Uh, we've got to make sure we plan how we're rolling those out. We've got to give our team the opportunity to give them a go, but also make sure we've got some good training in place. Yes. Make sure we've got some good policies and procedures and how they use that and where, where things are being stored and not yeah. going out into the, into the uh, wild west. Mm -hmm. Uh but we should be saving a, a lot of time by utilising tools that we're paying for within in a licence. Exactly. You're already paying for them. We may as well be using them to save any time that can be available, can be saved. Awesome. And you know, I think for any business, you know, we're, we're time poor. Yeah. Uh, there's not enough hours in the day. So mm -hmm. the more productive we can be and the more productive our team can be, then um, hopefully that brings uh, better business results at the end of the day. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks again for your time today, Sam. No worries. As we talked about in episode three, our Microsoft 365 suite has got so many tools within there to help us be more productive. It's much more than Outlook, Word and Excel. There's a whole range of tools in there, including PipChamp. So if you're not aware what's in there, go on and have a look. And if you need a bit more help, you know, call the team and uh, we can certainly help you through that. See you next time, Digital Roast. <laughs>